Jason, stand up, stand up. Zack and the crowd kept shouting at Jason lying there, although he knew the reason for the duel between Jason and Toss from the adventurer next to him. He wanted to go up and fight for Jason, but the duel between spiritual masters cannot be desecrated. If he stepped forward, he would be despised by all the adventurers present. More importantly, he knew Jason's physical strength very well. Although he knew that Jason was facing a low-level spiritual master, he still believed that Jason would never be easily knocked down in the previous round of attacks. Knowing that Jason was beaten like that at the Tallinn City Prosecutor's Office, and within a few moments he was full of life again. The other person in the whole square who has full confidence in Jason is Lin Yen. As a heavenly spiritual master, he can naturally see that although Toss' previous attack was fierce, Jason's steps were even weirder. With one blow, at least 70% of the power was released by Jason, and those attacks seemed to have hit many of Jason's vital points, but none of them were real. Lin Yen couldn't help but nod secretly. Being able to grasp enemy attacks so perfectly, even Lin Yen himself may not be able to achieve such accuracy. To do this, to put it nicely, one must have a lot of practical experience, to put it harshly, well, this people need to be beaten all the time. What's more, Jason's spiritual ring skills have not yet been used. Lin Yen may not be able to withstand Jason's spiritual skills even if he is not prepared, let alone Toss, who is a low-level spiritual master. Many adventurers in the crowd shook their heads slightly when they heard Zack shouting, and many of them were already ready to turn around and leave. Indeed, even a low-level spiritual master of the same level as Toss, before Toss, under that crazy attack, life or death would be uncertain, not to mention the young man in front of him. At such an old age, no matter how strong he is, he is probably only a low-level spiritual disciple. Ahem, just when Toss was about to return to the team of the Wild Wolf Adventure Group, a slight cough suddenly reached everyone's ears. Jason, who was lying motionless, suddenly, the man staggered to his feet with stunned eyes. A trace of blood snaked down from the corner of his mouth, but Jason ignored it and grinned at Toss, who was staring at him in shock not far away. A terrifying smile appeared. This how is this possible? Toss' face turned pale and he cried out. In the previous battle with Jason, Toss clearly felt that Jason's spiritual power was only at the first level, and it could be seen from Jason's gray linen clothes that were somewhat damaged and exposed the muscles inside that Jason had no spiritual power at all. Wearing something similar to inner armor, how could a spiritual disciple continue to stand up after receiving such a brutal attack from himself? Zack exclaimed in the crowd, Jason, I'm telling you, you can do it. Quick, kill that guy who's rolling his eyes. Captain Toss, there's no need to go back in such a hurry, the duel can be done. It's not over yet. Jason walked forward with a smile on his face, and then took out two bottles of elixir from a corner of his body in front of all the adventurers, one of which was a quiet dark blue, giving people there is a clear and pure feeling, and the other bottle is a fresh lavender, like a piece of amethyst, exuding a dreamy light under the sunlight. Jason's clothes had been damaged a lot in the previous battle, and he didn't know how he saved these two bottles of elixir. Under everyone's gaze, Jason first opened the lavender potion bottle and drank the amethyst-like potion in one gulp. Then, he opened the dark blue potion bottle and drank the same. This this is a spiritual enhancement potion. Someone in the crowd suddenly let out a scream, his tone filled with disbelief and trembling. Spirit-enhancing potion? The crowd suddenly started talking. Spirit-enhancing potion, a third-level high-grade spiritual potion, can make a spiritual master or a person below the spiritual master level instantly increase the spiritual power level in the body by one level. It is a very rare and precious spiritual potion in the spiritual master world. For those low-level adventurers in Kodo Town, it is even more of a legendary item. Then that purple thing is the spirit reviving potion. Someone among the adventurers exclaimed again. It was as if a bomb had been dropped on the entire crowd of adventurers, and the pot exploded with a bang. Everyone looked at Jason in the middle of the square with red eyes, 
with surprise and regret in their voices, what a waste, what a waste. The Spirit Rejuvenation Potion, a third-level high-grade spiritual potion, can allow a spiritual master or a person below the level of a spiritual master to instantly restore the full amount of spiritual power consumed in the body, or allow a heavenly spiritual master to restore most of the spiritual power in the body in a short period of time. The preciousness of the Soul Reviving Potion can be explained by the popularity of Jason's auction in Tallinn City. In the previous battle, many adventurers present had already seen that Jason's spiritual power level was about that of a spiritual disciple. However, a first-level spiritual disciple drank two bottles of third-level high-grade spiritual potions in an instant, and both it is a very precious spiritual potion in the world of spiritual masters. This this is simply when I think of the kid in front of me, he drank a high-level precious potion that ordinary adventurers like them rarely see even once in their lives. Everyone present, all the adventurers, couldn't help but bleed in their hearts. That was a high-level precious elixir, so it wouldn't be such a waste. Choke. Toss, who was originally frightened by Jason's invincible situation, felt a little frightened when he saw that Jason actually drank the spirit-enhancing potions and spirit-restoring potions that were difficult for him to obtain. Toss no longer cared about the master's demeanor and drew out the long sword from his waist. A spiritual master actually took the lead in drawing out his weapon during a duel with a spiritual disciple. Toss could no longer care about such an embarrassing pedestrian. Feeling the intermediate spiritual disciple's spiritual power returning to full value in his body, Jason's face showed a faint smile of satisfaction. As a spiritual medicine master, Jason would not give up on the advantages he had. Spirit elixirs, like weapons and inner armor, are auxiliary items and are generally not restricted in adventurers' duels. Jason and Old Voice suddenly came from the crowd. With the support of Aunt Mary, Old Renault staggered in. Seeing Jason, who was full of embarrassment, Old Renault's face revealed a look of worry. After Jason ran out, the worried old Reno immediately asked Mary to take him to Harry's gambling house. As a result, old Reno, who came late, only saw the messy Harry's gambling house, so old Reno, who understood the situation, went to Mary's house. With the help of his friend, he rushed towards the headquarters of the Wild Wolf Adventure Group again. By the time he arrived, Jason's duel had been going on for quite a long time. Standing in the center of the square, Jason's attention was all focused on Toss in front of him. With a buzzing sound, a strange light suddenly flashed from Jason's body. A golden halo emerged from Jason's head and finally floated behind Jason's head. The dazzling golden light illuminated Jason's body. The center suddenly erupted. Under Jason's control, golden light rose only within one meter around his body, reflecting a blur of light under the sunlight. This is the spirit ring. Oh my god, oh my god, what did I see? The golden ultimate spirit ring. Who is this young man? As soon as Jason's spirit ring was released, all the adventurers in the audience once again when the excitement started, their hearts felt like a roller coaster, being pushed to the limit again and again by Jason, making them extremely excited. After Lin Yen, Zack and others saw Jason's spirit ring, a faint smile appeared on their faces. When old Reno on the side saw the golden spirit ring released by Jason, his originally worried face suddenly froze, revealing a strange look, which was as surprised and unbelievable as if he had seen a ghost. Look. First level, Jason actually reached first level, it's impossible. A disciple of the Todd family with a blood purity of more than 50% has never been promoted to first level. This is impossible old Reno stared, he murmured in his mouth, and with Mary's support, his whole body trembled slightly involuntarily. Aunt Mary saw old Reno trembling and murmuring nonsense in a low voice. She thought that old Reno was worried about Jason, and she sighed slightly in her heart. But even as a commoner, she understood that a duel between adventurers it cannot be interrupted. Go to hell after seeing a series of strange changes in Jason's body, Toss couldn't bear it anymore. A trace of fear and bad premonition spread from his heart. He immediately felt his heart skip a beat and shouted angrily. 
With a sound, all the remaining spiritual power in the body spurted out in an instant, poured into the long sword in his hand, and fiercely rushed towards Jason. For a moment, an extremely powerful energy was raging in the middle of the square. Toss released all his power as a low-level spiritual master and swept towards Jason not far away, some low-level people were nearby. Under the influence of Toss's strength, the adventurer involuntarily took a few steps back. Facing the surging attacks against him, in the frightened eyes of everyone, Jason had a calm smile on his face. Just when Toss was about to attack him, a voice came out of Jason's mouth. Come out. Soul shock. An invisible ripple suddenly spread out from Jason's body and bombarded Toss, who was attacking ferociously not far away. With a buzzing sound, Toss's body was shocked in vain by the shock of his soul. His eyes instantly lost their clarity and became dull. The spiritual power that originally ran across the surface of his body dissipated in a moment because of the loss of guidance and control. And Toss, the body moving at high speed, was like a sports car that had lost control of its power, continuing to crash and rush forward towards Jason. Bang fist. Facing Toss, who was rushing towards him, the intermediate spiritual power of Jason's spiritual disciples started to operate at high speed, and then hit the chest of Toss, who was rushing forward without any resistance. There was a loud bang, and Toss's body was suddenly hit hard like a cannonball. The moment he was attacked, Toss also recovered from his daze, but it was already too late. A large amount of intermediate spiritual disciple spiritual power in Jason's body was like a flood that was released from a floodgate, spurting forward desperately and hitting Toss's body heavily. If Toss is in his prime state, as a low-level spiritual master, the third-level spiritual power in his body will naturally resist Jason's attack, but now there is no way. The third-level spiritual power in Toss's body has long been in the previous battle with Jason, there was not much left. Facing Toss, who was thrown away, Jason did not hold back. He flew forward and hit Toss's chest with his right fist again. Boom. 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 Under Jason's repeated bombardment, blood spurted out from Toss's mouth in midair, and bursts of bone-shattering sounds came from all over Toss's body but Jason had no intention of stopping. Third brother, Jivan, who was originally standing aside and watching calmly, could no longer bear it at this time. He suddenly shouted angrily, and his figure surged in an instant, and he rushed towards Jason, who was not far away. Pung, two figures, collided in midair. As a senior spiritual master, Jiwan suddenly fell from midair and stepped back a few steps in the square. The rocks under his feet were shattered. Come, a trace of blood slipped quietly from the corner of his mouth. A trace of panic flashed in Ji Wan's eyes, and he shouted angrily, Hu Lin Yen stood calmly in front of Ji Wan, and said calmly, Captain Ji Wan, don't you know the duel between adventurers? Isn't it allowed to be blasphemed? Lin Yen, it's you. Kiwen said through gritted teeth. As a local snake, Kiwen still had some concerns about the team of sharp-edged adventurers who often came to Koto Town for supplies and ventured into the Spirit Beast Mountains. Heard. Bang, Jason, who had punched several times in a row, finally stopped attacking at this moment. Feeling the little spiritual power left in his body, Jason let out a long breath. With a bang, Toss's body fell heavily from midair, blood foaming from his mouth, his eyes gradually lost clarity and he died on the spot. Third brother, third captain, the members of the Mad Wolf Adventure Group in the crowd immediately rushed to the square and surrounded Toss, exclaiming in grief. You kid, after seeing that Toss, who was covered in blood, had no breath, Boza and Kalat looked at Jason with red eyes, and slowly stood up, and between them behind him, many members of the Mad Wolf Adventure Group drew out their weapons and stepped towards Jason, who was standing there. Seeing this situation, Baroque, Zack and others in the crowd also rushed to Jason and sneered, What, do you, the Mad Wolf Adventure Group, want to violate the rules among adventurers? Although the Blade Adventurer team only has, there are six people, but they are not afraid of everyone in the Mad Wolf Adventure Group. Stop, Boza, Kalit. Kiwan glanced at the adventurers around the square, and then stared at Jason, not far away. 
His angry eyes seemed to spit out fire, but he, for the sake of the group leader's reason, he still suppressed his anger. Whether it was Lin Yan's strong intimidation or the rules of duels between adventurers, he was not allowed to take action against Jason today, otherwise their mad wolf adventure group would be discredited in Kodo town. Kiwan nodded, glanced at Jason coldly, and said solemnly, Very good, Jason, right? I, Kiwan, remember it. Then he turned around and walked towards the location of Toss's body. Jason smiled and ignored the harsh words of Kiwan. He smiled at Lin Yen and said, Brother Lin Yen, thank you just now. He who even dared to offend the director of the Tallinn City Prosecutor's Office would naturally not afraid of a small adventure group. Jason, you have you become a spiritual disciple? Old Reno's trembling voice came from behind Jason, with an inexplicable look of expectation in his eyes that was difficult for Jason to understand. Jason nodded and said, Yes, Father. After hearing Jason's affirmative answer, a flash of light suddenly burst out in old Renault's eyes, and an inexplicable aura suddenly came from him. A surprised light suddenly appeared in Lin Yan's eyes. The aura that exploded from old Renault's body earlier actually made him, a heavenly spirit master, feel a chill all over his body. Let's go, father, my son has avenged you. Looking coldly at Toss not far away, Jason helped old Renault and walked out of the crowd. What's going on? What's going on? At this moment, an extremely noisy sound suddenly came from outside the crowd, and then a group of guards in armor walked in from outside the crowd, led by a gray-haired man with a majestic face. The old man scanned the whole place coldly with a pair of triangular eyes, and following the old man was Robert whom Jason had previously taught him a lesson at Harry's gambling house. Brother-in-law, it's him. He was the one who just went to Harry's gambling house to cause trouble, and also injured the guards in the gambling house and me. Seeing Jason, Robert, who was standing next to the old man, immediately screamed and looked at Jason's eyes were full of viciousness. Isn't this President Carlos? He looks pretty good now. There was a buzz of discussion among the crowd that was about to disperse. Oh. The gray-haired old man glanced at Lin Yen aside, and then his eyes fell on Jason, Jason, right? Previously, you violated the laws of the kingdom, broke into Harry's gambling house, without permission, and made trouble. I shot and wounded several guards and Robert, the manager of the gambling house. According to the laws of the kingdom, come on, come on, take him down. Yes, sir. A group of guards, following the gray-haired old man, immediately stepped forward. Come, gathered around Jason. Tell me to beat me up earlier. Robert, who had been beaten up by Jason before, walked forward arrogantly and kicked Jason. You're looking for death. Jason narrowed his eyes and kicked Robert's chest with his right foot faster. With a bang, Robert was immediately thrown away. The wound on his sternum that had been broken by Jason had been simply treated. Now, after being hit by Jason again, blood spurted out from his mouth, with anger and anger in his eyes. He looked at Jason in disbelief. He never imagined that Jason would dare to fight back in front of his brother-in-law, Carlos, the president of the Kodo Town Spiritual Masters Union. Bold. A trace of anger flashed in Carlos's eyes, don't let me take him down yet. Yes. The guards surrounding Jason were all stunned when Jason resisted, and after receiving the card after Ross gave the order, he pounced hard on Jason. At the same time that the group of guards took action, Baroque, Zack and others who had been standing behind Jason also moved. Ouch. Oh my god. Ouch. A series of screams suddenly came from all around Jason. The group of guards who were originally surrounding Jason all fell to the ground after a moment, whining and rolling in pain, while Baroque and others rubbed their fists and stood behind Jason again. Carlos looked at Lin Yen, who was standing quietly next to Jason, with an angry look on his face, and said, Captain Lin Yen, what is going on? Do you, the Blade Adventurer team, want to disobey the laws of the kingdom? Lin Yen, what on earth is going on? Brother Yen, this man in front of you is so verbose, please ask brother Lin Yen to keep him quiet. 
Jason glanced at Carlos, who kept shouting, and said with a faint smile. Robert himself had let him go before, but he didn't expect that he would dare to cause trouble for him and even bring the president of the Kodo Town Soul Masters Union. Because of his father's affairs, Jason was not in a good mood today. Okay, I'm too lazy to talk nonsense with that Carlos at this time. Master Jason, I am happy to serve you. Lin Yen chuckled and disappeared. Lin Yen, how dare you a roar came out from Carlos's mouth, and then several huge roars came from the square. After the two figures crossed each other a few times, Carlos kicked off quickly. After taking a few steps back, there was already a trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. Carlos glared at Lin Yen in front of him with a pair of triangular eyes. He never expected that Lin Yen would actually obey Jason's instructions and suddenly attack him. You must know that he is the president of the Kodo Town Spirit Masters Guild. Although as a senior spiritual master, he is a little weaker than Lin Yen, his status as the president of the Spiritual Masters Union is definitely not something that ordinary spiritual masters dare to offend. Lin Yen was thinking about being single. There were many adventure towns around Talon City. Even if the Blade Adventurer team didn't come to Kodo Town in the future, there would be no big loss. Looking at the angry Carlo standing there, Jason showed a mocking smile, then turned and left the square. Carlos looked angrily at the retreating figures of Jason and others, and said to himself, Damn Lin Yen, you are stronger than me, but no matter how powerful you are, you are still a spiritual master. I can't cure you, so I don't believe Talon. The City Spirit Masters Guild can't cure you yet. After the Lunar New Year, I will write a letter and send it to the Talon City Spirit Masters Guild. No, I will go to Talon City in person by then. And that Jason, just wait for me. Let's see how I deal with you when I get to Talon City. Looking at the excited adventurers who were talking around and gradually dispersing, looking at the guards who were still screaming on the ground and his brother-in-law Robert who was vomiting blood, Carlos was almost angry. He didn't spit out any blood, so he was very smart in Kodo Town today. Jason, when did you become so powerful? Are these your friends? On the way, Aunt Mary looked at Jason with bright eyes and said enthusiastically. Previously, she only saw Jason defeat Toss, who was said to be the leader of the first adventure group in the town, and his friends also beat up the guards of Kodo Town and the president of the Healer Union. Aunt Mary was extremely curious and excited at the same time. For ordinary people like Aunt Mary, these people were all out of reach. Haha, <laughs> Aunt Mary, I'm just a first-level spiritual disciple, and I'm not that powerful. These are the friends I met in Tallinn City. They are the real masters. Jason smiled, and then faced old Renault said, Father, let me introduce to you, these are the members of the Blade Adventurer team. This is Brother Lin Yen, the captain of the adventurer team, but a low-level heavenly spirit master. This is Brother Baroque, is the vice-captain of the adventurer team, and is a senior spiritual master. This is Kulea listening to Jason's introduction, old Reno just nodded his head intentionally or unintentionally, remaining silent along the way, occasionally raising his head. He started to look at Jason, with an inexplicable hesitation in his eyes. He didn't know what he was thinking. On the other hand, Aunt Mary was very enthusiastic. After listening to Jason's introduction, she asked in a low voice, Jason, this team of Blade Adventurers sounds very powerful. Which one is more powerful, or the most powerful wolf adventure group in our town? Although Aunt Mary is an ordinary person, she is also an original resident of Kodo Town, so she has naturally heard about the crazy wolf adventure group in Kodo Town. Jason smiled and said, Aunt Mary, although this Blade Adventurer team only has six people, it is a three-star adventurer team. Although the Mad Wolf Adventure Group is an adventure group, it only has two stars, and Captain Lin Yen is a heavenly spirit master, the four leaders of the Mad Wolf Adventure Group joined forces, and none of them could be his opponent. So powerful? After hearing Jason's explanation, Aunt Mary glanced at Lin Yen, cautiously, murmured, I don't think he's very strong either. He's far worse than Zack and Baroque next to him. Zack and Baroque are so strong, 
and you can tell at a glance that he's an expert at picking up water. They can pick up hundreds of water a day. There is absolutely no problem with the tenth level of water. Jason and others on the side heard this and immediately couldn't laugh or cry. Soon, everyone arrived at Jason's house. Along the way, old Renault, who had been silent all the way, suddenly said to Jason after returning to the yard, Jason, arrange for your friend to take a rest. You and I'll come over. Then, he left the house alone. After arranging Lin Yen and others, Jason came outside the house and saw old Renault standing alone in the middle of the yard, staring blankly at the sky. He didn't know what he was thinking. Jason suppressed his doubts and said, he walked up to old Renault and said, Father, are you okay with calling me out? Old Renault didn't say anything, but just took out a key from his body, and then came to a locked dilapidated hut in the backyard and opened the hut. Opened it and walked in. Jason had seen a locked cabin in the backyard since he was a child. He had never seen his father open it, so he didn't know what was inside. Father, what is this? Jason followed old Renault and walked in. A strong musty smell immediately entered Jason's nose. It was almost evening, and the light in the cabin was not good, it was a little dim, but Jason could still see that what appeared in front of him was a room that looked a bit like the ancestral hall of some big families. There was an incense stand in the middle of the room, and on the incense stand, there was also a row of rows. Position, but the ranking is blank, there is nothing on it. Renault came to the incense platform and immediately knelt down, My ancestors, I would like to pay my respects to my unfilial son Renault. After paying homage, old Renault stood up. Although he was seriously injured, he had taken the medicine Jason gave him. Healing potion, but the wounds on his body did not heal. He kneeled down and touched the wounds. His face was immediately covered with sweat and pain, but he said nothing and said to Jason on the side, Jason, here it is. I kneel down and pay homage to all my ancestors. Jason looked at his father with a gray beard in front of him, who looked quite excited, and knelt down to the empty seat and bowed. He has lived for seventeen years. He never knew that his family actually had an ancestral hall that only nobles could have. What made Jason even more unexpected was that there was no writing on the row and it was still blank. Although Jason was extremely curious, he did not ask why, because he knew that since his father brought him here, he would definitely tell him the matter. After seeing Jason kneel down and worship, old Renault nodded seriously, took out a hollow transparent needle and a transparent stone from a shelf drawer of the incense stand, and said to Jason, Jason, reach out your hand. Jason stretched out his right hand, and old Reno used the thin needle in his hand to prick Jason's finger gently, and a small amount of Jason's blood was immediately sucked into the hollow thin needle, and old Reno dropped the blood from the fine needle on the transparent stone. A subtle light shone on the stone. In Jason's eyes, the drop of blood was absorbed by the stone like a sponge absorbing water. Then the entire transparent stone immediately emitted a faint red light in the dim light. It looked particularly dazzling in the house. Seeing the red light, old Renault suddenly said excitedly, sure enough, the test that year was correct. The blood concentration of the family in you has indeed reached more than 50%. However, historically, the blood concentration of the family's disciples has reached 50% of people have never been able to advance to the first level, but you have reached the first level. What on earth is going on? Wudong Chankuan updates interesting, Jason on the side couldn't help it anymore and asked in confusion, Father, what's going on? Old Renault's eyes gradually regained their calmness, and he said to Jason with a trace of memory, Jason, do you have anything? Never heard of the Todd family? The Todd family? Jason was stunned and said, Father, are you talking about the largest martial arts family in the kingdom, the Todd family? Old Renault nodded and said, that's right. That Todd family, Jason, in fact, your father and I are a direct descendant of the Todd family, and Duke Leo, the current minister of state for the royal family and the commander of the kingdom's headquarters, is your uncle. The largest military force in the kingdom that Jason, said the Todd family, the Sun family, 
is the most powerful military general family in the Kingdom of Orlando and one of the three founding heroes of the Kingdom of Orlando. When Clare, the founding king of the Kingdom of Orlando, fought in the north and south of the land where the Kingdom of Orlando is located, there were a total of three families made the greatest contributions to him. One is the largest business family in the kingdom, the Oliver family, which has provided Clare with a large amount of materials and financial resources. The other is the Roland family, where the kingdom's current prime minister, Gree, belongs. The last one is the leader of the kingdom's headquarters, Grand Duke Leo. Todd family. Jason's face suddenly showed a look of surprise, Duke Leo is my uncle? Then why are you here, father? For his father, he was a direct descendant of the Todd family, and now he is in such a state of poverty. To such an extent, Jason felt a trace of disbelief in his heart. Old Renault smiled bitterly, 17 years ago, I caused a big enemy for my family because of an incident. The family had no choice but to expel me from the family, and all my strength was destroyed, and the name Reynold Todd must never be used, and even the name of the ancestor cannot be written on the plaque on the ancestral hall. At this point, there was already a trace of tears in the corner of old Renault's eyes, as a father, I am ashamed of you. Originally, you could become a child of a big family, but now, originally, I thought that if you could become a child of a big family in my lifetime, if you reach the sixth level of spiritual master, it is still possible to return to the family. However, when you were born, I tested your bloodline concentration, and your family's bloodline concentration actually reached more than 50%. In other words, in our family, the higher the bloodline concentration, the better they can practice the family's secret skills, and the greater the benefits of practice. However, in our family, the children whose bloodline concentration reaches more than 50%, strangely enough, after the founding of the Kingdom of Orlando, in the hundreds of years of history, a total of six appeared, an average of one every hundred years, but none of them could reach the first level of spiritual disciples. Two were stuck at the seventh level of spiritual power, and three were stuck at the spiritual level. The eighth level of spiritual power and another one is stuck at the ninth level of spiritual power. Throughout his life, none of these six people have reached the first level. Old Renault looked at Jason and continued, Back then, I tested your blood concentration and found that you after reaching more than 50%, there is no hope for you. I didn't expect that you have reached the first level. God pity you. In a few days, the clan will recruit more disciples. Maybe because of this, you can by making an exception and returning to the family, I have fulfilled a wish as a father. Jason couldn't help but asked excitedly, Father, do you know that those six people with a blood concentration of more than 50% why can't the children advance? Also, who is the enemy you offended? The family will actually expel you. Old Renault shook his head and said, Why the six children cannot advance? The elders and patriarchs of the family have studied it for generations. It's been a long time, and I haven't figured it out yet, but according to records, the six people at the stuck level, every time they hit the next level, there will be a sharp pain in their souls, and then they will fall into coma, which will eventually lead to failure of promotion, and, it seems that the disciples with higher bloodline concentration are stuck at a lower level, as if God does not want them to advance. As for the enemies I have offended old Renault smiled bitterly and shook his head, their power is too great. You don't need to ask, I won't tell you. Even with the strength of my family, in front of them, they can only avoid disaster by abandoning me, but old Renault's eyes suddenly burst out with a determined light, I have never regretted what happened seventeen years ago. If I could do it again, I would make the same choice myself. Jason couldn't help but secretly thought. It turns out that the reason why he was stuck at the fifth level of spiritual power and could not advance was because of his body's bloodline, so the weird things that appeared in his body before. This phenomenon is probably also due to the bloodline of the Todd family. What kind of family is this Todd family with such weird abilities? For a moment, Jason had the idea of uncovering everything. Jason, who was in shock, did not see the tenderness in the corners of old Renault's eyes when he talked about the incident 17 years ago. 
When Jason and old Reno walked out of the hut, the sky had gradually darkened. Although old Reno, who had revealed some secrets in his heart, was injured, his face was extremely rosy at the moment. When he came to Kodo Town, Jason agreed to treat Lin Yen and the others to a good meal. But now that old Reno was injured, Jason asked the restaurant in the town to give some good food to him when he came back from the square. After the wine and food came, Aunt Mary also cooked some home-cooked food, and everyone gathered around and drank in the yard of Jason's house. Brother Lin Yen, I wish you can successfully complete your mission this time when you enter the spiritual beast mountain range and come back safely. Jason raised the wine glass to Lin Yen and others, and took the lead in drinking the wine in the glass. Haha, <laughs> that's for sure. We'll treat you to dinner then. Zack said carelessly, and everyone drank the wine in their glasses. The mission of the Blade Adventurers team this time is not difficult. It only takes a few days to complete. After all, there are still about ten days left before the annual Yuanli season in Stern Continent. After the Yuanli season, Jia Sen will be 18 years old, and Lin Yen and the others will return to Talon City before the Lunar New Year Festival. Everyone in the Blade Adventurer team, I, Renault, would like to toast you with a toast. Thank you for taking care of my son Jason. Renault also picked up the wine glass. Father. Seeing old Reno pick up the wine glass, Jason couldn't help but persuade. Haha, <laughs> just have a drink just have a drink. Your friend is here, so of course I have to respect him. Although he was injured, old Renault was in a good mood today and drank the wine in one gulp. Jason couldn't help but smile bitterly. Knowing that old Renault was good at this, he didn't stop him. Although drinking alcohol would have some impact on wound healing, drinking less would generally not cause any serious problems. That night, everyone drank until late. After dinner, Lin Yen and others returned to their hotel and set foot in the spiritual beast mountain range the next day. Jason took good care of his father and spent the rest of his time on his own practice. Day after day, time flies by like running water. In the blink of an eye, more than a month has passed, and it is already February. For more than a month, except for taking care of old Renault for the first few days, Jason spent the rest of the month at home practicing non-stop. This kind of life, which is quite boring for ordinary people, feels very fulfilling for Jason. As an orphan in his previous life, it is enough for him to be able to be with old Renault every day. What's more, when Jason was studying the preparation of an eighth-level spiritual potion in his previous life, he even stayed in the laboratory for several months, constantly observing the changes in the preparation of the spiritual potion. When he was hungry, he would eat some and store them in the laboratory. With the dry food in his mind, he finally grasped every physical change in the preparation process of this eighth-level spiritual potion, and successfully prepared that eighth-level spiritual potion. In comparison, Jason feels a little leisurely and comfortable these days. Lin Yen and others had returned to Kodo Town two days before the Lantern Festival. After having dinner with Jason, they returned to Tallinn City the next day. In the past month, Mad Wolf Adventure Group and Kodo Town no one from the Healer Guild came to trouble Jason, which surprised Jason. Under an old tree in Jason's backyard. Jason was sitting cross-legged, running the spiritual god technique to refine spiritual power. Jason, who entered the state of cultivation, clearly felt that his body was surrounded by a large number of free spiritual elements. These spiritual elements were constantly entering the body from all parts of the body, passing through the limbs and bones, and finally connecting with Jason's various meridians. The spiritual power in them gathered together and gradually grew stronger. The spiritual power in Jason's body flows through all the meridians throughout his body. The spiritual power in each meridian works independently, forming small cycles. Then these cycles are combined to form a large cycle throughout the body. Generally, for a spiritual disciple with an intermediate level of spiritual power, the meridians that the whole body's spiritual power can be distributed to are only the first-level meridians. However, Jason is different. With the combination of many factors such as the spiritual god art, the violent spiritual master, 
and the bodybuilding spiritual liquid, he the spiritual power in the body covers every aspect of the body. The meridians of the first to ninth levels, the meridians of the first level spiritual disciples, the meridians in the hands, feet, and even the fingers and toes, as long as they are opened by Jason, all flow with spiritual power, forming tiny cyclones that will the free spiritual elements that enter the body are absorbed. Jason's spiritual consciousness spread in the yard. Even though his eyes were closed, any movement in the surroundings, the slight swaying of the grass, the wounds on the bark of the tree, the crawling of an ant on the ground, were all captured by Jason's delicate spiritual consciousness. With the gentle touch of consciousness, it finally turned into a real picture, which was reflected in Jason's mind. What an elixir master needs most is delicate spiritual awareness, and Jason's spiritual awareness training method, which converts spiritual awareness into thousands of filaments and spreads it out, and finally maps the surrounding scenes into his mind, can greatly improve his spiritual awareness. The intensity, precision, and control of Jason's spiritual sense. A figure entered Jason's range of perception. Huh. Jason breathed out slowly, recovering from his training. Old Renault came to Jason's side. Seeing Jason wake up, he said with relief and concern on his face, Jason, you are going back to Tallinn City tomorrow. You have worked so hard today. Jason curled his lips and said, Father, you seem to have said it a few days ago. If you want to become a strong person, you need to work hard every day. Only by working harder than ordinary people can you have amazing strength. Haha. <laughs> I'm right to say that, you have been practicing continuously for two hours, take a rest first and have something to eat. Old Reno said with a smile. Hey, okay. Jason stood up, Father, are you really not going to Tallinn City with me tomorrow? I killed Toss from the Mad Wolf Adventure Group in Koto Town, and I'm afraid they will cause trouble for you. Old Renault shook his head, I still have some things to do here, and I will go to Tallinn City to find you in a few days. Besides, although my spiritual power is completely disabled, I was still a sixth-level spiritual master before. The Kingdom of Orlando is also a great person, so you can go with peace of mind. When old Renault was in the Todd family, he was the family's number one genius. At the age of 33, he reached the level of a sixth-level spiritual master, was a rising star in the kingdom. Unfortunately, he offended a powerful enemy and was completely disabled. You must know that D. Lin, the strongest man in the kingdom of Orlando and the number one spiritual master in the kingdom's court, is also a seventh-level imperial spiritual master. Don't worry, father, I will definitely restore all your spiritual power. Looking at old Reno's old face, Jason said firmly. Haha, it's good to be an ordinary person. Let's go. Old Reno patted Jason on the shoulder, turned around and entered the house. Regarding his own situation, old Reno knew best. All the meridians in his body had been shattered in that incident 17 years ago. Now, the meridians in his body have long been tangled together, and they have all been destroyed. If it is blocked and the meridians are gone, I will never have spiritual power again in this life. Following behind old Renault, Jason didn't explain anything. As a ninth-level elixir master in his previous life, he didn't just say what he said casually. However, at his current level, he doesn't have that strength yet, and he also needs a lot of energy medicinal herbs and elixirs. Jason secretly made up his mind that he would never let his father down. Moreover, his father had been unwilling to tell him about his enemy back then because his current strength was very low. In order to protect himself and prevent himself from doing stupid things. Looking at his father's staggering steps into the house, Jason quietly clenched his fists. The next morning, in the small courtyard of Jason's house, Old Reno straightened Jason's clothes with both hands and flicked the collar of Jason's clothes. Jason, before you go, my father has a few words to say to you on the eve of departure. Old Reno looked at the son in front of him who brought him hope, and he was full of words in his heart. I believe that you must have learned a lot at the Sith Spiritual Power Academy, and even have much greater strength than ordinary spiritual disciples. 
However, you must remember that the cultivation of a spiritual master is like sailing against the current. If you do not advance, you will retreat. At your age, such strength is considered good in Tallinn City and even the Kingdom of Orlando, but in the entire stern continent, there are still countless talented people above you. Old Renault's face was extremely serious, a slacker genius is like fine porcelain. No matter how good it is, it will not be of much use in the end. I hope you can guard against arrogance and impetuosity, practice hard, and finally become a truly strong man. Father, don't worry, I will end, I will forget your teachings. Jason solemnly assured as he looked into old Reno's eyes. Old Reno's eyes lit up, and he patted Jason's shoulder heavily with his strong hand. I believe in you, son. On the small road east of Koto town, Jason looked back at his father's back standing at the entrance of the town, waved vigorously, his eyes were a little red, and his heart was full of reluctance. This is the first time in this life that Jason has truly said goodbye to his relatives. Even though old Renault has already said that it won't be long before he goes to Tallinn City to find Jason, and then together they go to the Todd family in the royal city. Jason took one last look at his father's figure standing at the entrance of the town, and finally turned around resolutely and walked towards Tallinn City. It was now morning, when some vendors were just opening their businesses. A middle-aged man with a small commodity stall at the east entrance of Kodo Town watched Jason's figure disappear at the end of the path. After old Renault left, but quickly packed up the stall he had just set up, and then walked towards the center of the town. The middle-aged man walked very fast. Although he was holding something in his hand, his steps were quite steady. He was obviously a practicing man. In a short time, the middle-aged man walked to the center of the town where the Mad Wolf Adventure Group was stationed, and walked straight in without being stopped by the two guards at the door. Captain, Jason has already left Koto Town and headed towards Tallinn City. In the hall of the Mad Wolf Adventure Group, Kiwan sat there boldly, while Boza and Kalat sat there. On both sides of Kiwan, there is another empty chair, which should have been Toss's position. The middle-aged man from before was standing there reporting to Jivan. Jivan nodded and waved the middle-aged man to retreat. His sly eyes fell on Boza and Kalat. Brother, after waiting for more than a month, Jason finally came out of town. Let me take someone to kill him later, to avenge my third brother. Boza, the second leader of the Mad Wolf Adventure Group, said in a dark voice. Road. Jivan nodded, Boza, you and your fourth brother will lead a few agile brothers to catch up. Remember, don't rush to take action. Wait until you are far away from Kodo Town before taking action. Make sure there is no one else nearby, so the Blade Adventurer team can't find our heads without evidence. Brother, do you want the fourth brother to follow? I don't think Jason is very strong. With my mid-level spiritual master's strength, plus a few brother, you can't deal with him easily. Jiwan shook his head and said with a hint of caution on his face, I think that Jason is not simple. Although judging from the spiritual power released last time, he is just a spiritual disciple, but the third brother died mysteriously last time. It's better for you to be careful with his hands. I'll feel more at ease if you two go together. Okay, brother, just wait for the good news from the two of us. Boza and Kalat standing up, let's find a few brothers who are agile and reliable, and we'll set off immediately. After a moment, seven middle-aged men dressed in ordinary clothes walked out of the side door of the backyard of the Mad Wolf Adventure Group. When they came out, the leaders were Boza and Kalat. A group of people quietly walked out of Kodo Town and walked quickly towards the direction of Tallinn City. And in the Spiritual Masters Guild in Kodo Town, Carlos, the president of the Spiritual Masters Guild, is sitting on a Taishir chair. A guard from Kodo Town is half kneeling in front of Carlos, reporting to Carlos. Follow Jason's whereabouts. Okay, then Jason has finally returned to Tallinn City. Carlos stood up suddenly after hearing the report, with a cold smile on his face, Humph, the Blade Adventurer team, a small adventurer team you are so arrogant and have offended me, Carlos. Now I will force you to walk around without food. 
Make arrangements for me immediately. I want to go to the Tallinn City Spiritualist Guild. After a while, Carlos took his several guards, left Kodo Town, and headed for Tallinn City. Who, ho, on the official road from Kodo Town to Tallinn City, Jason was walking while punching with his left and right hands in turn. No. Jason shook his head and frowned, I want to control the spiritual power at the meridians where the fists are located, and then spray it out when the fist power reaches its peak to increase the power of the attack. This spiritual power spray the timing must be extremely accurate, otherwise the spiritual power will be consumed in advance, and the power of the collapse fist will be reduced, and the gain will outweigh the gain. Huh. The spiritual power in Jason's body vibrated, and his right fist struck out like lightning again. Still not right, come again. Who, chi? Jason swung out his left fist, and the spiritual power in his body vibrated at the moment when the force of the collapse fist was fully released. With a pop, a small ripple that was imperceptible to the naked eye was on Jason's left hand. The air at the fist spread out and disappeared. Yes, that's it, that's the time. Jason's face lit up with a smile. The fists struck by ordinary spiritual masters rely on the power released by the explosion of spiritual power in the body to be transmitted to the fist, causing harm to others. However, the Banquan I practice relies on the bodybuilding spiritual fluid to open up both hands. The meridians in the fists allow spiritual power to be transported to both fists, and the force of the blow is naturally much stronger than that of ordinary spiritual masters whose meridians are not opened. Now, if the power of the spiritual power jet is added to the collapse fist, even even if you face a high-level spiritual master, you can still fight. Jason thought to himself. Now my physical strength may be weaker than that of a low-level spiritual master, but it is comparable to that of an ordinary high-level spiritual master. And the speed at which I can perform my sneak steps can also reach the speed of a normal low-level or intermediate spiritual master. Only attack, although he has Banquin, the spiritual power in his body is only at the level of an intermediate spiritual disciple, which is fine against a spiritual master. The strength is really too strong. Through the battle with Toss, Jason had a more thorough understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of his body in all aspects. Now if you learn to spray spiritual power on top of Banquin, the combined power will be greatly increased. Even a high-level spiritual master will not be able to ignore his own attacks. When dealing with a spiritual master like Toss, you can also use don't let the opponent hit you, let the spiritual power in his body be exhausted, and then use soul shock to break through the opponent's defense and kill him with one blow. Again. Jason swung his right fist again. Who, ho, as Jason walked, he kept punching out his fists, sometimes fast and sometimes slowly. Sometimes he would lower his head and frown in thought for a long time. When he succeeded once, a smile appeared on his face. Occasionally, some pedestrians riding horses or riding carriages passing by would point and point at Jason when they saw him like this, and some would even sneer at Jason. Naturally, Jason wouldn't pay any attention to it. None of the pedestrians who passed by Jason noticed that in addition to Jason constantly pumping his fists fast and slowly, the footprints under his feet were sometimes deeper and shallower. The deeper footprints were even deeper than those of people carrying heavy objects. The horse's hoofprints are even deeper, but there are no traces in the shallower areas. Jason, who has reached the intermediate level of the disciple, has increased the gravity released by the gravity pendant to five times the gravity. On the surface, Jason seems to weigh only more than 120 kilograms, but in fact his own weight is five times the gravity. With the addition, it has exceeded 600 kilograms, and when walking, the meridians opened in the soles of Jason's feet are constantly releasing spiritual power to resist the pressure of the body on the ground. Jason, who is practicing even while walking, is tempering his body every moment and improving his ability to control spiritual power. Unconsciously, Jason had left Kodo Town for more than half a day. Except for a short break at noon and some dry food, Jason had been on the road. 
At this moment, behind a hillside about 200 meters in front of Jason, Boza, Callet, and others were quietly ambushing there. Second Regiment Commander, 4th Regiment Commander, Jason is not far ahead and is approaching this way. A member of the observing team quietly came over and whispered. A fierce light appeared in Boza's eyes, when Jason arrives later, brothers, please take it easy. I will personally chop off his head to avenge my third brother. Second Captain, don't worry, brothers no. The group member on the side said, coldly. Huh, later I will make sure that Jason cannot live or die. Boza nodded. The brothers he brought this time, except for the fourth brother Callet, who was a low-level spiritual master, were the remaining five members of the group, two are high-level spiritual masters, three are mid-level spiritual masters, plus myself as an intermediate spiritual master, a small spiritual disciple, cannot do any tricks at all. Brothers, rush. Boza and the others were lying in the grass. Seeing that Jason had arrived on the official road beside the hillside, they immediately shouted and rushed out first. Huh? Boza, not good. Seven figures flashed in the corner of his eyes. Jason looked around, but his expression changed in vain. Seeing Boza and others, Jason's expression changed, and without saying a word, he ran directly towards the forest on the other side of the official road. With his current strength, if he is surrounded by Boza and others, there will only be death. Damn it, this kid wants to run away, let me chase him. Seeing Jason turn around and run away, Boza couldn't help but cursed, and his body suddenly grew in size, trying to intercept Jason before he entered the forest. But Jason's speed was faster than Boza expected, and the official road was not far from the forest nearby. After Jason's figure flashed twice, he disappeared into the forest. Whoosh, 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 following Jason, seven figures swept into the forest like lightning. At the front were Boza and Callet. I asked why there was no movement from the Mad Wolf Adventure Group. It turned out to be this idea. At this moment, Jason had already released the gravity restrictions on his body, and his body was constantly flashing in the mountain forest, looking at those who were following him. Boza and the others behind him had a sneer on their faces. Chi 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 a trace of spiritual power spurted under Jason's feet. Jason's figure was like a nimble leopard in the forest, fast and fierce. Damn, how can this kid run so fast? If I had known that this kid could run so well, I would have ambushed two of them in the forest, here. Boza followed closely behind Jason and cursed. Boza tried his best, but he could only follow closely behind Jason, and beside him was Callet. Callet was nicknamed Lilong in the Mad Wolf Adventure Group, and he practiced wind spirituality. The strongest thing about strength is speed. Although there are only low-level spiritual masters, their speed is comparable to Boza when exerting their full strength. However, the five team members brought by Boza and Callet are far away at this moment. Come on, left behind. It was already afternoon, and there was still an hour before the evening sun. The sunlight was not particularly strong, and the forest was a little dim under the cover of dense branches and leaves. Puff. The spiritual power in Jason's body was working hard, and a large amount of spiritual power spurted out from under his feet. With a cunning dodge, he rushed into the bushes. Damn it, where's that kid? Boza and Callet stopped in front of a patch of bushes, looking around in the forest. That kid must be nearby. With our tracking, he can't run very far. Callet said coldly, and the two of them spread out and searched carefully in the bushes. In a bush not far away, Jason, who was hiding his figure, stared coldly at Callet, who was approaching him. The spiritual power in his body was running and there was already a sneer on the corner of his mouth. If you want to intercept and kill me, let's see who is the hunter and who is the prey. Jason narrowed his eyes slightly to prevent the light in his eyes from attracting Callet's attention. The spiritual consciousness spread immediately, sensing everything around him. Callet and Boza kept searching forward. Because the two were searching in different directions, the distance between them became farther and farther away from each other at the beginning 
but they always maintained a distance of about 200 meters. Looking at Callet, who was searching in his direction and only 10 meters away from him, Jason carefully gathered all his spiritual power. Facing a low-level spiritual master like Callet, there was no trace of any fluctuations in spiritual power around him. The other party may notice it. 8 meters. 5 meters. Callet was getting closer and closer to Jason, and he was curled up together. Jason, who was hiding under the bushes, closed his eyes completely, with all his spiritual power restrained, and only a part of his spiritual consciousness was released, like a like a rock, unmoving. Although the distance of five meters is very close, the other party may still react. Jason will never take action easily before he is absolutely sure. Two meters. Damn it, where is this kid hiding? Boza's curse came from the distance. Now. Jason's eyes suddenly opened in an instant, and his whole body exploded like a lightning from a dragon emerging from a stream. His right fist which had been suppressed for a long time and imbued with a large amount of spiritual power, suddenly swung out. Bang fist, explode. Jason's eyes widened in anger, and there was a violent sound of breaking through the air. Not good. A strong gust of wind blew at the back of Callet's neck. Callet was startled and his figure suddenly rushed forward. Bang. No matter how fast Callet's body dodges, it is not as fast as Jason's punch. With a loud noise, the spiritual protection on Callet's back was instantly broken, and a huge force hit him. It hit him on the back and entered Callet's body. Pfft. A mouthful of blood spurted out from Callet's mouth. A look of disbelief flashed in the eyes of Callet, who had previously fallen out, impossible. He could clearly feel the force that broke through his spiritual protection. It is spiritual power at the level of a spiritual disciple. But how can spiritual power at the level of a spiritual disciple break through the spiritual power protection of his own spiritual master level? Drink. Jason didn't stop, he shouted loudly, spiritual power spurted out from his feet, and he kicked Callet hard in front of him. Callet spat out a mouthful of blood again, and quickly slapped his hands on the ground. His body that was originally hitting the ground flipped over in vain, and he punched forward at the same time. Who? Who? Two violent sounds pierced the air, and with a bang, a figure suddenly collided with Callet, and then the two quickly separated. Gruck Callet's body hit the ground heavily, dust flew everywhere, and blood foamed from the corners of his mouth. He stared forward in horror. His throat had been damaged by Jason in the previous blow. Shatter. The fight between the two took place in just a few seconds, and Callet, a low-level spiritual master, was killed by Jason. Fourth brother. Boza let out an angry roar and rushed towards the side. Jason looked coldly at the extremely angry Boza, suppressed the blood that was boiling in his chest due to Kalite's blow, and his body flashed in the forest and disappeared into the forest again. Fourth brother. Boza looked at Callet, whose eyes were wide open and staring at death. He hit the ground hard with his right fist and let out an extremely sad roar, You brat, I will definitely cut you into pieces. Sure enough, people can only improve in crisis. Jason, who was hiding in the distance, sneered and looked at his right hand. In the previous battle with Callet, he successfully hit the moves he tested along the way. Otherwise, Callet's defense would not have been broken and he would have been killed. Looking at Boza in the distance, who was in grief and anger, and amidst his angry curses, Jason quietly swept towards the direction he came from before, his eyes patrolling the mountains and forests, like a war eagle looking for its prey in the sky. I'll come back to deal with you eventually. Jason grinned. On the way here, there were five more prey. Jason quietly sneaked in the direction he came from before. After a moment, Jason seemed to notice that there was a faint voice coming from a position not far to the left. Jason instantly disappeared into the grass nearby, his eyes slowly looking through the gaps in the grass. Shortly after Jason disappeared into the grass, two figures quickly appeared in Jason's sight, quickly moving towards the direction where Jason came from. 
what's going on? There seems to be a battle ahead. An adventurer said as he walked. Well, I heard it too. It seemed to be the voice of the second captain. Could it be that the second captain caught the kid? Another adventurer also asked doubtfully. These two people were two of the five members who came with Boza. Both of them had reached the level of advanced spiritual warriors. In the process of chasing Jason, they fell behind Boza and Kalat, but they were on the other side. Three intermediate spiritual warriors in front. Seeing the two of them, Jason, who was hiding in the grass, showed a smile. Haha, <laughs> that kid would be unlucky if he was captured alive by the second captain. An adventurer said with a sinister smile on his face. Hearing the words of his companion, another adventurer also had a sneer on his lips, the nickname of the second captain is the evil wolf, and his methods are more vicious than the Captain Jivan. If it falls into his hands, humph, who? Letting that kid offend our mad wolf adventure group is simply asking for death. That's right, by the way, what level do you think that kid is? An adventurer had a trace of doubt on his face, the second leader said that kid was just a spiritual disciple, but I also watched the duel that day. The kid actually survived so many blows from Captain Toss, and finally released a golden spiritual ring. If we meet, we will have to be careful. Well, that kid is a bit weird, but the second captain is an intermediate spiritual master, and with the assistance of the fourth captain, no matter how strong that kid is, he will definitely die. The face of another adventurer, with a hint of confidence. We'd better hurry up, huh? As soon as an adventurer spoke, his face suddenly changed, and he suddenly turned around, and a fierce force struck his head like lightning. The sudden attack made the adventurer punch out his fist reflexively and hit him hard. However, the force of the force was far beyond his expectation. As soon as the two servants came into contact, the adventurer's face turned pale, his throat became sweet, a mouthful of blood spurted out, and his body was hit and thrown back. Kill him. In midair, the adventurer roared at his companion who was stunned by the sudden change. However, before he could finish his words, the figure who had punched him with that energy before chased after him and punched him again. Who is it? The adventurer roared angrily and punched out his fists again in midair. Bang, two figures passed each other in midair, and suddenly, a clear sound of bone cracking sounded in the empty dense forest. The adventurer's body collapsed in vain in midair and was hit hard. On the ground, dust was scattered all over the ground. A large amount of blood clots coughed out from the adventurer's mouth. His originally bright eyes instantly became blurred and lost their luster. A fist mark was deeply dented in the heart of his chest. It only took a few seconds for the adventurer to die from the sudden attack. When another adventurer recovered from the shock, he found that his companion had stopped breathing. It's you. Weren't you captured by the second captain and the others? The adventurer raised his head in horror and stuttered after seeing Jason in front of him. Caught by your second captain? Haha. <laughs> Jason chuckled, your second and fourth captains are already the same as your companion. Impossible. The adventurer's pupil shrank, and suddenly, he suddenly, he turned around and ran away. I want to run. Jason sneered, kicked his feet hard, and shot away from the adventurer. Seeing Jason's speed, a flash of panic flashed across the adventurer's face, he choked, drew out the long sword from his waist, and slashed at Jason angrily. Huh? Jason glared angrily, and a strange light flashed quietly from Jason's eyes. Hiss, after seeing Jason's eyes, the adventurer's body trembled suddenly, and a feeling of panic spread through his body like an electric current. The long sword in his hand was no longer there. The previous fierceness. The body swayed slightly, easily avoiding the adventurer's attack. Jason's right fist struck out like lightning, hitting the adventurer's abdomen hard. Bang fist, explode. With a bang, sound, the adventurer let out a painful scream. A trace of blood slipped quietly from the corner of his mouth, and he staggered back a few steps. Who? Another strong wind sounded, and before the adventurer had time to react, 
a black shadow whipped him hard on the head. With a sound of bang, like a ripe watermelon being smashed by a huge force, the adventurer's head exploded in an instant, and a large amount of yellow and white things sprayed everywhere. Jason's figure swayed, and he flashed in the air. Aside. The adventurer's body fell heavily to the ground, and an eyeball rolled to Jason, but Jason felt nothing. Looking indifferently in the direction of Boza, Jason immediately moved towards the rear quickly again. Over there, there were three adventurers from the Wild Wolf Adventure Group waiting for him. Huh? Not good. Boza, who was frantically searching in the distance, because of Kalit's death, seemed to feel something. He glanced in the direction where Jason and the two adventurers were fighting, and his expression changed. He couldn't help but suddenly changed and his figure instantly turned into an afterimage, shooting away in the direction of the two adventurers. Deep in the dense forest, three adventurers from the Wild Wolf Adventure Group were forming a triangle and slowly moving forward. In the rather quiet mountain forest, the sound of feet stepping on broken branches is quite clear. Other than that, there are only the occasional flying birds or the running of startled small animals, bringing a trace of commotion to the quiet mountain forest. Did you hear it? There seemed to be some noise in front of me just now, an adventurer holding a sharp sword whispered. Yeah. Another adventurer nodded and said, it's very possible that the captain and the others fought against that boy. Everyone, be careful. I also watched the duel between the boy and Captain Toss, and he seemed to be quite strong, let's not fall into the gutter huh? A strong wind suddenly blew over the adventurer's head and a black shadow appeared in his eyes. Before the adventurer could react, a cold and incomparable feeling instantly invaded the adventurer's body. The adventurer felt a chill on his neck, and an extremely hot stream of heat sprayed out from the cut throat. His vision suddenly went dark, and he lost consciousness. Who? Sensing the movement on the side, two adventurers came over with sharp swords and lightning, but they only saw the fallen body of their companion. A figure stood aside, raised his head, and exposed himself to the two who reacted. A big smile. It's you. The faces of the two adventurers changed in shock, and the long swords in their hands immediately turned into two swimming dragons, entwining towards Jason. Jason's figure remained motionless, waiting for the moment when the long sword was about to stab him, his figure swayed twice in an instant, and he had already avoided the attacks of the two adventurers. With a hiss, the sharp sword in his hand was like the python spit out a message and stabbed an adventurer beside him. The adventurer was startled, and his body retreated in an instant, barely avoiding Jason's sharp sword, and a trace of blood quietly appeared on his face. Go to hell. A strange smile appeared on Jason's face. After the sword was thrust out, his left fist suddenly burst out and hit the adventurer hard in the abdomen. With a loud bang, the adventurer's abdomen exploded under Jason's attack. Blood and internal organ fragments spurted out from his mouth. His eyes widened, and a blood pit the size of a fist suddenly appeared in his abdomen. His consciousness quickly blurred, and he fell into in the dark. You you ah! The adventurer looked at Jason and killed two of his companions in just a moment. There was a hint of horror in his eyes and he yelled, turned around, and ran away. At this moment, an angry roar came from the distance where Jason had been fighting with two other adventurers, and a figure ran towards here from a distance. It was the same person who had just arrived to see the two previous adventurers. The wolf Boza is the corpse of a senior spiritual warrior. Second captain, save me! The last adventurer shouted in horror when he saw the figure running in the distance. Looking at Boza, who was approaching quickly, Jason showed a stern smile. Under Boza's angry gaze, his figure suddenly surged, and the long sword in his hand flew out, piercing the adventurer's back, and then, the fists packed with powerful force hit the intermediate spiritual warrior who was running desperately. The running body of the adventurer was suddenly like a cannonball that was shot away. Blood spurted out from its mouth and it hit the ground heavily in front of it, splashing a cloud of dust. After two meaningless twitches, the adventurer's limbs twitched, and never moved again. 
you brat, you're looking for death. Boza watched helplessly as his team members were killed by Jason before his eyes. He let out an angry howl and flew into the air with a strong three-color infusion in his hands. The long sword with super spiritual power emitted a dazzling light and stabbed towards Jason. Chi. 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 The long sword in Boza's hand turned into light and shadow, forming an airtight wall of light that completely enveloped Jason. Jason's figure retreated quickly in the sword light, and pieces of bluish gray cloth the size of spirit coins flew out from Jason's body and were immediately smashed into pieces in the sword light. Boza's body fell heavily in midair, and the sword in his hand stopped abruptly. Round holes the size of spiritual coins appeared on the robe Jason was wearing, but luckily, Jason's body was not injured. Jason, I'm going to cut you into pieces. Boza stared at Jason in front of him with red eyes. He didn't expect that the task assigned by the leader, which he thought was an easy task, ended up being the result will be like this. Around Boza's body, the corpses of three adventurers lay quietly. All the brothers he brought, including his third brother Kallet, had all been killed by Jason's attack. This is exactly what I want to say. Jason smiled coldly, and a golden light suddenly lit up on his body. The next moment, the first-level spiritual ring quietly appeared in the back of Jason's head, like a death eye stared coldly at Boza in front of him. Boza narrowed his eyes slightly, and the third-level intermediate spiritual power in his body was running rapidly, flowing along the meridians where the spiritual skills were used, and reached its peak in an instant. Split the air. A sword beam shot out from the sword in Boza's hand and slashed towards Jason. The powerful spiritual power brought about a huge sonic boom in the air. Soul shock. Faced with Boza's attack, Jason just smiled indifferently and an invisible soul power suddenly bombarded Boza in front. Boza's ferocious attack stopped abruptly in an instant. The sword that originally exuded powerful strength lost its light in the next moment. Spiritual power surged in his body. Jason's fists hit Boza's chest hard. With a bang, Boza's eyes instantly regained their clarity. The long sword in his hand was thrown away, and his whole body flew backwards. Strong energy vibrated in his body, and a trace of blood quickly appeared at the corner of his mouth. What, what kind of magical skill is this? Boza's eyes were filled with horror. He had lost consciousness before, and only then did he understand why his third brother Toss, who had initially beaten Jason to the point where he was unable to fight back, after Jason released the spirit ring, he was unable to fight back and was killed by Jason with multiple punches. What kind of spirit ring is this that is absorbed after the death of a spiritual beast? The skills of this spirit ring are really terrifying. It can actually make a person at the level of a spiritual disciple and an intermediate spiritual master lose consciousness in an instant. What kind of spiritual skills does Jason practice? The spiritual power of the spiritual disciple level actually has such a powerful destructive ability and can even break through the defense of his own intermediate spiritual disciple in Boza's surprise, a black shadow appeared quickly following Boza's retreating body, Boza gritted his teeth, suppressed the crazily surging blood in his body, forced a burst of spiritual power in mid-air, and struck hard at the black shadow with both fists. Bang! Bang! Jason fell to the ground, a trace of blood spilled from the corner of his mouth, but Boza hit the ground heavily and a mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth. The pale Boza turned over and stood up, his body swaying slightly. He had been seriously injured under Jason's previous bombardment. He looked at Jason with a trace of deep vigilance and caution. Gently rubbing the spot on his chest where Boza had hit him, Jason grinned, his figure surged again, and he punched Boza in front of him with both fists. Bang! 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 A series of collision sounds quickly sounded between the two people, and countless fist shadows flashed between the two people. Faced with Boza's attack, Jason could not stand at all. There was no dodge, and they were fighting for their lives. 
Botas fists containing third-level spiritual power hit Jason's body heavily, but Jason ignored them. Impossible, impossible. Boza spat blood wildly from his mouth, looking at Jason who became more and more courageous under his attack, with a look of horror on his face, how could a spiritual disciple receive so many blows from me? If you can attack without dying, you are an intermediate spiritual master. Bang fist, explode. Looking at Boza who lost his fighting spirit in fear, the spiritual power in Jason's body suddenly became violent and hit Boza heavily. Bang, click a dull sound suddenly came from Boza's body, and the panic on his face quickly solidified. Poof. A mouthful of blood mixed with broken internal organs spurted out from Boza's mouth, and his hard body collapsed limply. Looking at the body that quickly lost its vitality, Jason let out a slight breath. Just as he was about to calm down the churning energy and blood, the intermediate spiritual power in his body suddenly became violent. This, Jason's face was stunned for a while, and then a hint of ecstasy appeared, and he quickly sat cross-legged under a big tree. Lines of intermediate spiritual power were running crazily in Jason's body, slowly transforming. Bits of powerful spiritual power entered various parts of Jason's body along the meridians, constantly transforming Jason's muscles and bones. Under the influence of that power, Jason's body is slowly transforming huh I don't know how long it took but Jason let out a long breath. His eyes suddenly opened, and a ray of light quietly flashed in Jason's eyes. He tightened his fists. Although he had just experienced a battle, at this moment, Jason felt that his body was full of power. Finally advanced to the advanced level. Feeling the powerful spiritual power running in his body, Jason murmured as he looked into the distance, his shining eyes shining brightly in the dusk. The quiet night quickly enveloped the entire earth. In the quiet night, except for a few faint roars of spirit beasts coming from the spirit beast mountain range not far away, the entire world was lonely. In the small town of Kodo ahead, a few solitary fires looked particularly dazzling in the dark night, but in the wilderness to the east of the town, a black figure flashed and quickly came to the wall of the town. Under. As an adventurer town, Kodo Town is close to the Spirit Beast mountain range. Occasionally, some peripheral spirit beasts will approach the town unintentionally. In order to prevent people from being injured by the attacks of spirit beasts, with the concerted efforts of everyone in the town, a three-meter-high bluestone wall was built around Kodo Town. After the black shadow paused under the wall for a moment, it lifted up in vain. After wandering around the wall twice, it quickly climbed up the city wall and sneaked into the dark Kodo town. The black figure seemed to be quite familiar with Kodo town. The figure ran skillfully in the alleys. After avoiding a group of guards patrolling the town at night, it quietly arrived at the center of the town where the Wild Wolf Adventure Group was stationed. Outside, gently turned inside. It was late at night, and all the members had already fallen asleep. Even the two guards on duty in the yard were leaning on the pillars at the door of the backyard, snoring slightly. As Kodo Town, the two guards, the number one adventure group, slept peacefully. They never thought that anyone would offend them, the crazy wolf adventure group. Poof, a soft sound sounded in the courtyard, a sword light lit up, and a blood arrow suddenly spurted out from the neck of a sleeping guard, and he entered the arms of the god of death in his sleep. A small hand suddenly wrapped around the neck of another sleeping guard, and then tightened suddenly. The guard suddenly woke up from his sleep and wanted to scream, but found that under the restraint of that hand, he could not make any sound. The sound of. Tell me, which room is Commander Jivun's room? A cold voice sounded softly in the guard's ears. You, the guard felt that he could not raise any spiritual power in his body. He tried his best, but could only make a weak sound like a gnat. Say. The cold voice sounded again, and the hand that pinched the guard's neck added a little force, making it almost difficult for the guard to breathe, and his face was red from holding back. The most inner room in the backyard. The guard said in horror, his eyes wide with fear. Very good. The man behind made a satisfied voice. His fingers exerted force in vain, and with a click, the guard's neck was cut off in an instant, 
and his pupils spread out in an instant, and he lost consciousness. Under the illumination of the lights at the entrance to the backyard, the dark figure revealed a somewhat immature face, and it was clearly Jason who had left and returned. Since your mad wolf adventure group doesn't want to let me go, don't blame me, Jason, for being ruthless. Killing you Kiwan will save me from worrying about my father. Sneaking gently into the night, Jason's figure was in the night, just like a lone wolf, looking for its prey. Entering the backyard, Jason came directly to the innermost room that the guard said, holding his breath and releasing his spiritual consciousness to extend inside. Under the outline of Jason's spiritual consciousness, the location of every item in the room was clearly reflected in Jason's mind. In the innermost position on the left side of the room, there was a bed, and there was a person lying on the bed, exuding a slight breath. Jason's mouth raised a hint of coldness, and he took out a blue medicine bottle from his body, opened it gently, and drank the medicine in the bottle in one gulp. As soon as the cold and pungent elixir was taken into his mouth, Jason felt the spiritual power of the high-level spiritual disciple in his body becoming violent in an instant. Although this old guy from Bisfam is relatively lazy, this violent potion is indeed well prepared. It can barely be regarded as a high-quality product. Feeling the changes in spiritual power in his body, Jason thought to himself, during this trip, as a spiritual medicine master, he he carries a lot of spiritual potions with him, including the third-level mid-grade violent potion prepared by Bisfam, which can allow any spiritual master below the fourth level to increase his strength by one level in a short time after taking it. Jason, who has reached the level of a high-level spiritual disciple, although the spiritual power in his body has not entered the meridians of the spiritual master level at this moment, the spiritual power of the advanced spiritual disciple in each meridians of his body are all under the influence of the violent potion. Transformed into the spiritual power of low-level spiritual warriors. Although I was able to kill Boza as an intermediate spiritual master when I was an intermediate spiritual disciple, but now that I am stationed in the Mad Wolf Adventure Group, I still have to be more cautious. The violent potion is not worth much money anyway. Jason thought to himself. If other spiritual masters knew what Jason was thinking at this moment, they would probably scold him for not cherishing it. Third-level high-grade spiritual elixirs are extremely precious in the eyes of most spiritual masters. Only a pervert like Jason would ignore the treasure that cannot be asked for. Jason gently pried open the door of Jivan's room and walked in quietly. Who? A low shout suddenly came from the bed, it was Jivan's voice. Then Jivan isn't asleep? Jason was suddenly startled and stabbed towards the opponent's location with the long sword in his hand. Huh. A huge black shadow flew up from the bed and suddenly enveloped Jason. Covered by Jason's sword light, it was torn into countless cotton wool. Behind the cotton wool, flying all over the sky, a human figure was threatening him. The fierce wind hit Jason fiercely. The figure slapped the back of the sword in Jason's hand at an angle, and then slammed it down on Jason's head. Bang! In the darkness, the two of them slapped each other. Jason's steps only swayed slightly, but the black figure took two steps back. Jason rubbed his body again and slashed down wildly with the long sword in his hand. With a flash of cold light, he chased after Ji Wan, who was dodging, and drew a shallow blood mark on his chest. Who are you? Why do you want to assassinate me? Don't you know that I am the leader of the Wild Wolf Adventure Group? As he retreated, Jivan's face changed and he shouted angrily. You don't even recognize me anymore. Captain Jivan has such a good memory. In the darkness, Jason raised his head, revealing a handsome face. In the dark night, it may be difficult for ordinary people to see, but for a senior spiritual master like Jiwan, they can see clearly. Is it you? Jason? You're not, there was a hint of shock on Kiwan's face, and his pupils suddenly shrank. What am I not? Haha, <laughs> Commander Jivan, are you surprised? Stop talking nonsense, today I am here to take your life. Originally, the sneak attack was just to save some energy, but now that the opponent has discovered it, Jason I don't mind spending more effort. 
By the way, I forgot to tell you that the two brothers you sent to intercept me can't wait to go to hell first. It just so happens that you four brothers will be reunited down there tonight. Jason smiled solemnly on his face and held a long stick in his hand. The sword trembled slightly and stabbed at Ji Wan's throat in front of him. Seeking death. Ji Wan shouted loudly, and an ominous feeling quickly enveloped his whole body. Could it be that the second brother and the fourth brother have already died at the hands of Jason? No, it's impossible. With the strength of the second brother and the others, it is impossible for them to be killed by this Jason. However, the second brother and the others left this morning. Yes, according to their speed, they should be back by the evening, why haven't they come back yet? Instead, this Jason at this moment, Ji Wan's heart was already in chaos, but as a senior spiritual master with a lot of practical experience, he shouted loudly when faced with Jason's sword that was stabbed swiftly, he put his palms together, and immediately slashed the long sword. The sword was clamped in the palm of his hand. Tisk. The power contained in the long sword Jason stabbed exceeded Ji Wan's expectation. Even though it was clamped by Ji Wan's palms, it still stabbed forward an inch into Ji Wan's chest. A trace of blood came from the wound. Gushed down quickly. Open. Ji Wan shouted loudly, used his palms hard, and with a cry, the long sword in Jason's hand suddenly broke. In the dark night, the voices of other adventure group members who were awakened by Kiwin's angry shouts could be heard faintly from all around. Humph, a spiritual disciple is a spiritual disciple. Jason, you can never get out alive today. A cold smile appeared on Jivan's face, and there was a strong murderous intent in his eyes. Shaking his head slightly, Jason threw the long sword aside. Kiwin was right, he was still not strong enough. In the training of spiritual masters, there are obvious differences at each level. The first-level spiritual disciples can only circulate spiritual power in the body, while the second-level spiritual masters can cover the surface of the body with spiritual power to improve protection and attack. Ability, third-level spiritual masters can instill spiritual power into items such as weapons in their hands and fourth-level spiritual masters can even rely on weapons to display sword light of a certain length. If the current Jason was a third-level spiritual master, the long sword imbued with spiritual power would have split Ji Wan apart with one strike. He would not have been able to catch it with both hands, let alone the general. The sword broke. Don't you feel that your spiritual power is a little uncomfortable? He shook his head slightly and the noise outside was even louder. At this moment, Jason appeared to be somewhat leisurely and elegant. Ji Wan frowned, and then his expression suddenly changed. He wanted to bring up the spiritual power in his body, but strangely found that the spiritual power in his body was flowing extremely slowly at this moment. You poisoned me? Ji Wan's face was livid, and his eyes fell on the half-broken sword tip on the ground. On the sword tip, there was a strange and imperceptible luster. Who? Jason's figure suddenly moved. The violent speed and wind pressure caused a whining sound in the room. Bang fist, explode. A low cry burst out from Jason's mouth. Jason Sauls stamped hard on the ground. The strong force even left a crack on the rock on the ground. It also contained second-level spiritual power. His fist hit Ji Wan hard on the chest. With a sound of bang, Ji Wan, whose spiritual power was abnormally disordered, could not dodge at all. He fell heavily and flew out. A cloud of blood spurted out from his mouth, mixed with the sound of cracking bones, in the silent night. Appears extremely clear. No impossible, I am a senior spiritual master your fists cannot break through my defense in the dark night, Ji Wan's eyes widened in horror and he roared with blood spurting from his mouth. Captain, what's going on? What happened? In the dark night, noisy voices were heard in the yard outside, and Jason could hear many people rushing towards here with weapons. It's a pity that reality has disappointed you. Jason said coldly, powerful spiritual power condensed in his hands, and with his toes on the ground, Jason slammed the seriously injured Kiwan again. Pounce. 
No help looking at the fierce attack of Jason, Jivan roared in his mouth, turned over and wanted to rush out. Outside the house, there were a large number of his men. Bang! It was a pity that the poison Jivan could not catch up with the speed of Jason, who had been gathering momentum for a long time. Without any suspense, Jason's fists were stamped hard on Jivan's back. With a loud bang, Jiwan's back suddenly exploded under Jason's attack. Under the powerful bombardment, blood and flesh flew everywhere, and the entire back was bloody and bloody, even the internal organs inside. Clear and distinct. With a bang, Kiwan's body hit a table nearby, smashing the table into pieces. Jason kicked Kiwan's body and turned it over. Under the night, Jiwan's face was covered with blood, his mouth was open, his eyes were wide open, full of malice and fear, and he refused to rest in peace. I forgot to tell you that, for a spiritual medicine master, using poison is also a form of strength. Captain, what's going on? What's wrong with you? At this moment, the noise came outside. At the door, after hearing Jivan's cry for help, the wooden door was kicked open hard, and several figures squeezed in from the outside.